Hey guys, welcome to another Block Tech Tips um, tutorial. Today I'll be looking at the black screen problem as you can see on screen here. And this happens sometimes with the Samsung Galaxy devices from the first generation all the way up to this generation. Now, as you can see here, you see the notification LED and when you touch the home button or any power button or any other options on screen, what you're gonna realize is that no matter what, the device just won't power up or power on in any way. Now, this is a serious issue. Now, I used to have an old fix that used to work with the Galaxy 1 all the way up to the Galaxy S5. But now, due to the fact that this um, device is a non-removable battery, the fix or basically the method to fix this problem has changed. I'll still show you a link on screen to the old fix so you can actually look at that. But for now, let's show you how to fix this device, such as, as you're seeing here, which is the Galaxy S6, right? So the first thing you want to do is to try everything I show you while the device is plugged in and then plugged out. All right. So once your device is behaving like this, once you have an unresponsive display or a black screen, first thing you're going to do is you're going to connect your USB up. Um, then, as you can see here, my device is powered off. And if it's not off, you'll need to find a way to power it down and make sure it's powered off. Right. Next, you're going to basically hold down the power button plus the volume down for about 20 seconds then what usually happens is that the phone vibrates and it will come back on now as you said power button volume down you're gonna hold um that and then it's gonna simultaneous and should power on right for most phones will fix that next if that doesn't work you can try basically the reverse of what i said a while ago except you're gonna use volume up it should power on the device. Now I'm just simulating this because this device is already fixed. So um, it should boot up from the start, right? If that doesn't work, you're gonna power off the phone again as best as possible, right? Because you should not be able to see anything on display. And basically you're gonna hold, um, while the phone is off, you're gonna hold volume, you're gonna write volume up, power button, right? And you're basically gonna open the, hold the home button at the same time. And basically what should happen then, is that the phone should basically boot into a mode where you see the Android guy on his back. Um, that's the Android logo, right? And then um, from there, you just select reboot. You're gonna use volume up and down to navigate and power to select, right? Now, if that doesn't work, another thing you can also try um, is you can try the same as I recommended above while using the volume up, power button and home, and then you should basically boot into Android recovery and then you wipe cache if you're getting into that mode, right? Um, next, if that all else fails, you can try um, to power on the phone again. And you're gonna hold the power button and the home button, right? And basically some options should come on screen. Then you're gonna navigate down um, using the volume up and down controls, right? And you're gonna select um, down based on the on-screen options and the phone is going to reboot and it should power on all right so as i said before guys this is just a simulation this device is already fixed but you should did have the that was affected by the black screen issue as i said before it can affect the screen in many ways it can also make the screen become in unresponsive to touch it can also um as we said, in most cases, make the screen block and you'll hear your notifications such as your messages coming in, but you basically can't see anything on screen, all right? So remember, just try these things. Remember, first try them with the um, the USB connected, then try it with the, everything I've said with the USB disconnected. Now, in most cases, it will not work the first time. You have to probably try it a number of times, so just don't give up, all right? So just basically um, volume down, you're gonna power button, right you can try the combination with the power button volume down and the home button and hold them and in most cases the phone does simply reboots and once it reboots it comes on right just as you're seeing here and your touch should be restored fully right you should um have full touch capability um you should be able to see um see everything on the display as normal when this um, problem is fixed I guarantee this will work in most cases, not in all devices. But if you actually just take the time and just apply what I say, try them one step at a time, you should get the desired effect of um, basically fixing your device. All right. So guys, this um, is just another blog tech tip tutorial. You can go on the website. We have many, many more tips. All the 
instructions that I've spoken about here is written for you in detail that like you can see and try. All right, you can click this link on the screen or the one down in the description. You can also check out the previous fix for this problem if you have one of the older devices. And this should also work for future devices such as Galaxy X7 and above because this problem seems to just continue generation after generation. All right, guys, this has been Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any issues, please use the comment sections below. And thanks and bye.